Today I will demonstrate how to check clubbing in a patient. In order to assess presence of clubbing, you can check fluctuation at the base of the nail. Hold the finger of the patient like this, that is with your thumb and middle finger. Then keep your index finger near the base of nail. Apply pressure with one index finger and feel the movement by the other finger. In presence of clubbing, you can feel the fluctuation over here. Note the lobby ward angle, that is the angle between nail plate and skin below nail when viewed laterally. In a normal patient like this, you can see this angle is less than 160 degrees. While in case of a clubbing patient, this angle approaches 180 degrees or can be more than that. Then you can note the phalangeal depth ratio. The phalangeal depth ratio is the ratio of digits depth measured at the nail and at the distal interphalangeal joint. In a normal patient, this ratio is less than 1, while in case of clubbing, this ratio increases to more than 1. Then you can check for shamrod sign or do a shamrod window test. In normal hands, when you oppose the dorsal side of same digits, usually thumb, of both the hands, then you can see a diamond-shaped space between them over here like this. But in case of clubbing, this space is obliterated like you can see here. This is called as positive shamrod sign. Once you have identified clubbing, you can grade it into one of the four categories. In grade 1, fluctuation test is only positive. In grade 2, shamrod sign is also positive. In grade 3, there is increased convexity of nail fold, giving a parrot peak or drumstick appearance. While in case of grade 4, there is swelling of fingers in all dimensions and it is associated with hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy. Now let us see the causes of clubbing. Now this is a well-known mnemonic for remembering the causes of clubbing. Each alphabet of clubbing stands for a particular cause. C stands for cyanotic heart disease and cystic fibrosis. L stands for lung cancer and lung abscess. U for ulcerative colitis. B for bronchiectasis and benign mesothelioma. I for infective endocarditis and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. N for neurogenic tumors. And G for GI diseases like cirrhosis. You can also remember the causes of clubbing as per the system involved. First is primary which includes idiopathic or familial. Then we have cardiac cause which includes cyanotic heart disease, infective endocarditis and sometimes chronic congestive cardiac failure. Then we have very importantly pulmonary causes which include bronchiectasis, lung abscess, empyma, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary tuberculosis, mesothelioma, bronchogenic carcinoma and adenoma. Then we have endocrine causes which includes mixed edema and thyrotoxicosis, abdominal causes which include cirrhosis, inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Very importantly, we should also remember certain conditions in which clubbing can develop within 2 to 3 weeks and these are lung abscess, infective endocarditis and mesothelioma. There are certain interesting conditions associated with clubbing like unilateral clubbing. It is seen in case of anomalous aortic arch, aortic or subclavian aneurysm and pulmonary hypertension with patent ductus arteriosus. Then there can sometimes be unidigital clubbing also which is seen in case of median nerve injury and sarcoidosis. Then there can be clubbing of toes without involvement of the fingers which is seen in case of coarctation of aorta. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.